Hey, what's going on everybody? Alex here with Freedom Mowers. Hope you guys are having a good one. We're going to jump right into things today. Got a Lawn Boy 6.5 horsepower Kohler uh, big wheel push mower that uh, I was able to get started once, um, but I can't get it to start again unless it's on starting fluid. And uh, pretty sure we're just going to have carburetor issues with this machine. And uh, I'll go ahead and show you guys. Right off the bat, um, I noticed that there is no air filter. And let me see if I can get a flashlight real quick. All right, so I got a flashlight so you guys can see a little better, but it is just caked with dirt in there. And uh, so whoever had this mower ran it without the air filter for who knows how long. Um, when I was able to get this just to kick over on starting fluid, um, it wasn't smoking or making uh, any knocking noises. So hopefully this motor is still, uh, still healthy. Um, but I knew what issues I was having going on with this. And um, so I went ahead and uh, a couple weeks ago, I reached out to HIPAA and asked them about a carburetor for this machine. And they had one right there on the website. So today we are just going to be swapping over uh, a new carburetor onto this machine and see if we can get this thing back up and running again and uh, hopefully have a good machine. So let's get started. All right, so on this machine, they actually had a fuel shut off. Um, most of the time, you're not going to have that. That was added in. Uh, but we should just be right off the bat taking the front of the air cleaner off, obviously removing the filter if you have one. Two 10 millimeter nuts. And we should just be able to take the front of the cover off, which looks like it's been off before the gas gets a little ripped there uh, but it's not ripped to the point where it's interfering where it needs to seal so I guess we'll just kind of leave this off to the side for now or I can just take it loose so we'll just set this stuff right off to the side at this point we should just have this is the auto choke arm, which I believe should just lift right out. Yep. So we'll just set the auto choke arm off to the side. There is, on this throttle, you'll have to move this arm over, and once you get it moved over enough, uh, it can slide right through that slot right there. So I'll show you that. Just have to pull it forward a little bit. It's kind of like the, the Honda carburetors and then your governor spring. And then at this point, we should just be able to take the fuel hose loose. And that is, that is it on removing this carburetor. So we'll, we'll just go right back in reverse order. I'll make sure I've got good uh, fuel flowing out of there. Clean out the end of that line. And uh, we'll just go ahead and start putting everything back on here. That gasket looks good. So go ahead and hook your spring back up. Linkage right back in. We'll put the choke arm back in. Fuel line on. This is probably one of the easier carburetors to change. I mean, you guys can see this was done in 
just a couple of minutes. So, um, go ahead and get this line back up the air box <clears throat> and then just line up your air box put the crankcase ventilation hoses on and there we go and then I'll go ahead and snug down these two I'm not gonna put those back on with the impact because I don't want to warp the air box so we'll just snug those down 10 millimeter on these just snug them down they don't have to be super torqued just snug gotta put this little deflector on here kind of popped off earlier All right, and that should pretty much be about it. That was a uh, pretty easy swap there. We'll turn the fuel back on, and uh, I gotta dig around to see if I have an air filter for this, but yeah, definitely don't run your machines without an air filter, because you're gonna just run into problems. Um, obviously, if you had just your fuel clamped off, put it back on there, we're just gonna check for some leaks I don't feel anything going on so we'll pull this outside and uh, see if it'll fire up all right well I don't have an air filter for this particular uh, air box I have the other style um, Kohler air filter but we're just gonna give a test run on this and then we will get a new filter and get this machine uh, cleaned up afterwards but today's purpose is just trying to get um, get this thing up and running and then we can finish up with the uh, oil change and a service and everything on it so let's see if it'll crank Right, guys well that was uh, pretty darn simple on that I hopefully this helps somebody out um, these carburetors on this particular one are super easy to change if you have the tools uh, you know five to ten minutes and you can have a brand new carburetor on here and have your machine up and running again um, I still have some servicing to do on this lawn boy mower uh, but we aren't going to cover that in this video I just wanted to show you all uh, going from a non-operational carburetor um, to just a quick swap on it and uh, getting this machine up and running again so I think that this carburetor was maybe 15 to $20 um, I can't remember exactly but uh, you guys heard it fired right up and uh, it's ready to go so I appreciate you all tuning in and uh, on that note let freedom ring let those small engines sing I'll see you guys next time